How nervous will you be before your next big meeting or presentation? Will you be able to sleep the night before? And what if this meeting is in a different language than your native language? As an example, what if this meeting or presentation is in English? How much more nervous will you be in this situation? How many of you have spent days, weeks, maybe even months preparing for a big meeting or presentation? You know your company's product or service inside and out. You're an expert in your field. But the moment you think about having to speak in English, you get so nervous and worried. And then, to make it all much worse, you start worrying about people actually asking you questions and then having to answer those questions in English. Suddenly, you're worried about your pronunciation, your grammar, or just finding the right words to say. Oh, the stress is just too much. <laughs> is this you? <laughs> Can you relate? I'm Grant. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a business English confidence coach, and I've been helping business professionals like you deal with problems like this for a long time. <laughs> and I've helped many clients that are business professionals with their meetings or presentations, and I know how nervous they used to get in this situation. They would describe it to me all the time. Well, my mission now is to help millions of people change their lives by becoming confident using English so that you can do whatever it is that you want to do in life. And I hope you join me in this mission. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel. It helps a lot. And I really appreciate it. <laughs> so let's get back to this video. My clients have told me about their huge levels of nervousness and stress when they had a, a big meeting or presentation to prepare for. These are people who are incredibly knowledgeable and intelligent, yet they let their fear of speaking English take over. They spent so much time worrying about how they sound that they forget the most important part, their message. Let me tell you something crucial. Your audience isn't there to judge your English. As I've said many times, your audience doesn't care about your bad English. They're there to hear what you have to say. They want to learn from you, to understand your expertise, and to see how you can help them solve their problems. When you focus too much on your speaking skills, you shift your attention away from delivering your message effectively. And that's where things can go wrong, really wrong. It's common for a presentation to lose its impact because you, as the speaker, are too focused on getting every word perfect. The message gets lost, and the audience might walk away confused or unimpressed. Not because you didn't know your stuff, but because you were too worried about how you said it. I've had many clients describe to me how they spent hours memorizing every word of a presentation, especially if the presentation was in English. And when they do their presentation, even if they happen to remember all the words, which they almost never do when they memorize, they appear to be more like a robot and do not make any connection with their audience. And the presentation is a failure. Earlier, I made a video about the idea of not trying to be perfect in your English. 
It's a really important message. And you can find a link to that video here. I really encourage you to watch it. So how can you improve your nervousness before a big meeting or a presentation? How do we make sure that your expertise shines through without getting overshadowed by your fears about English? Here are five ways to not worry about your English in a meeting. First, shift your focus to your audience. Remember, it's not about you. It's about them. What do they need to know? How can you help them? When you focus on serving your audience, you naturally become less self-conscious. After all, you're here to help them. Number two, what message does this audience need? This is not about how much you know. This is about what your audience needs. Focus on finding the right message for this audience and really helping them with all your expert knowledge. Your audience is there to learn from you, not to judge your grammar. Make your language simple. This is not the day for your perfect English. I tell all my clients to not think about English at all. Just speak from your heart with the English that you have when you're making this presentation or doing this meeting. Keep it simple. The most important thing is that your audience understands you and understands your message, how you can help them. Practice being confident. Don't practice perfection. Perfection is an unrealistic goal, especially in a second language. Instead, practice being confident. If you speak with feeling, you'll sound and feel much more confident. Your audience will feel how much you care because of your confidence. It will also be much easier for them to build a relationship with you. That confidence will resonate with your audience far more than having perfect vocabulary. <laughs> and finally, number five, use pauses to your advantage. If you're not sure of what to say next, take a pause. It's perfectly okay. You can hear me speaking. I pause all the time. It's really normal, but it's really powerful. And I notice people don't pause very much when they're trying to speak English. Pauses can help you emphasize your points and give you a little time to collect your thoughts. Many people speak so fast during an important meeting or presentation that they almost never breathe. Practice your pauses, not your grammar. The audience will thank you. <laughs> Look, I know speaking in English can be scary at times, but don't let it hold you back. You have so much to offer, and your audience needs to hear it. By shifting your focus away from your fears and onto your message, you'll find that your presentations and meetings become much more effective, and importantly, much less stressful. Thank you, as always, for watching this video. I know that this message will resonate with many of you. I know it re resonates with all of my clients. So please, share this message. Share this message with friends, colleagues. And maybe more importantly, share some of your stories. I love hearing your stories of how you have experienced some of these things. I know many of you have experienced this. So take the time to write a story. You will see other people can really relate to what you've been through. Have a great day and don't stress about your English. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments. And I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.